Hi, I'm Mandy Keating and I am a visual artist and arts educator. That means that I make art for people to look at and sometimes to touch. And I also teach people how to make art. My specialism is working with paper. So that might be a pop-up book or something that is a intricate paper cut or maybe something like uh, a mobile, for instance. Whilst the work I do with paper tends to be quite small in scale, I also work with other materials and produce much larger public art. Public art is a piece of art that is available for anybody and everybody to see in a public place. I really hope that you enjoy the video that follows, which is an introductory tutorial and I would love to see what you make too. Thank you, bye. Today I'm going to show you how to make a, a simple but gorgeous mobile, just using really basic materials. To start with then, what you'll do is you'll use your scrap paint and just cover your cardboard in a colour. Once that's dry, you can then start to look at adding some colour. One other thing that you'll need is something to hang the mobile from. So you can use wooden sticks, you can even use pencils if you want to do, or as in my case, I've just used some um, twigs. Then what I've done is I've just given them a quick coating of white paint. The next step is to draw around your shape and then cut it out so that you are left with these kind of shapes. Now it's time to lay out your sticks and all of your painted and cut out shapes just to decide the, the best layout for your mobile. Once you've done that, you're ready to string everything together. For the final bit of your mobile, what you need is a piece of wool or string or some fishing wire. Thread it into a thick needle if you've got one. And then I'm going to start for this one, just poke the needle through there, make a hole, and then just knot it a couple of times, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Join it onto the next piece, so go in from the bottom. Go up, the back, make another hole, like that. When you're happy with how much length you've got there, then just go through this hole again. So that forms a loop now. And you're just gonna put your needle through that loop just to secure it, okay. And then that's one strand of your mobile done. Keep doing that until you've got all of them in place and then you're going to knot them onto the, uh, the wooden sticks that you've painted. Okay, so this is the final piece. And as you can see, it looks quite spectacular now. Now I have used fishing wire on this, but you don't have to do. You can make a feature of wool if you're using a colour that matches with the paint that you've used. If I get in quite close, you can see where the, the fishing wire is. But what's really nice about this is the movement on it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you get loads of enjoyment out of making your own mobile with scraps from your home. Thank you.